Hi guys, I'm back again uh, with the Talus Principal, and if you don't know me, I'm Juliana. Um, if you'd like to catch up on the series, please go look in the playlist. Um, it should be right around here and start from the beginning. Um, so we're about to venture into Area 5. I still don't know how to figure out that one from Area 3 that I don't have yet, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, um, we'll just get what we can. These worlds, and we within them, are made of words. Hidden words, invisible to you, yet part of all things. We are a story. Your actions give life to the story, and the story gives meaning to your life. That's a little roundabout way of saying, you know, hey. Hidden words. Do you mean codes? Do you mean, like, computer codes? Shock. Attention, user profile has now been generated. Download profile. Yes. Wow, sorry. Uh, downloading user prof, uh, registering profile. Congratulations, your new account has been registered. Would you like to see the details? Um, this big conflicts. Conflicts. User provided objective response when asked for a subjective one. User provided particular account of personhood that was uncomfortable with its implication, but was uncomfortable with its implications. User sought to maximize, maximize, maximize both liberty and quality of life, but these ideals are incompatible. User denied moral authority, but uh, defended moral claims. Hey, I'm a little bit complicated. Um, display psychological profile. <sighs> psychological profile. You may already be criticizing your own performance, but it's clear you understand how the world of ideas affects you, even if you are sometimes wary with its realities and allow your preference to dictate your beliefs. You have a great deal of unused capacity, which you have have not turned to your advantage. Discipline and self-controlled outside, but you tend to be worrisome and insecure inside, but you have, but you pride yourself as an independent thinker and do not accept other statements without satisfactory proof. That's a lot. Uh, display account privileges. <sighs> Profile. Privileges. Basic account privileges only due to the outstanding notes on your account. Despite displaying many of the characteristics of being a person, you cannot be granted admin status at this time. In the meantime, please enjoy the basic account functionalities. Woo! Woo, woo, woo. All right. Um, uh, you currently hold a basic account. That work access is restricted to administrators. Administrators, please enjoy the basic functionalities log. I'm sorry I wasn't uh, better able to assist you. If you are still encountering a problem, please describe it. Uh, account certification error. Lost admin password. Thank you. A support ticket has been generated and appended to your file. You will receive notification when a reply has been sent. Cool. Access comm portal. Uh, can no do. All right, fine. Resuming library archive session list. All right, getting this out of the way now, guys. I swear. All right, um, we've got web crawl nine 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 slash o nine slash o nine el dot html web crawl 9997 slash 03 slash 13 AI citizenship HTML lit arc 1912 CE Athena 8.txt Alright, here we go. Onwards and upwards. EL.html EL, short for extended lifespan, is a groundbreaking initiative by seven leading universities to create the world's most stable and most durable supercomputer with its custom-made hardware, bomb-proof casing, and near-inexhaustible hydroelectric power supply. 
EL represents a unique step forward in the evolution of human technology. Uh, the brainchild of Nobel Prize uh, nominee Dr. Arkady Chernesevsky. Chernesevsky. I'm really, really sorry. Uh, EL will and break is what that means. Um, links, download, press kit, meet the team, a H reference, apply, a H reference, equal, quotation mark, contact, and close. All right, AI citizenship.html. RE, consider the issue of 199 profile Alexandria Alexandra Drennan. Once a true artificial intelligence has been created, the issue of citizenship is going to come up. If we acknowledge that AI has come all has all the abilities of a human brain, should it not be considered a citizen? Is it not the in the legal sense of the word a person and thus a potential citizen? But where do you draw the line? Some people will object. Uh, will the great apes become citizen elephants, whales, uh, the more intelligent parrot species? It's crazy. They will say. I would remind these people that we live in a society in which a corporation, as abstract an entity as one could imagine, is considered a person. So it's not like there is no precedent precedence for a non-human being a being a person. Whew. At least an artificial intelligence is an actual thinking being, not just a business arrangement. But perhaps we do need to question the definition of personhood. Increasing amounts of evidence regarding the intelligence of elephants or the existence of culture among whales, for example, could be a sign we need to answer some difficult questions. Who better to debate these questions with with than the young genius who revolutionized the error. All right, have to have to stuff. Like, if something is thinking and and a being unto itself and knows all of the things that are required of a citizen, is it not a citizen? If it is rational, is it not human? If we've given it all the capabilities, yeah, no, that's that's a tough question. Like, how do we define human? Is it is it the ability to have emotions? That opens up an entirely strange quandary of questions. Yeah, let's not fuck out this road right now, but we can do that later at some other point. Y'all, let me know. Open Athena eight txt. You must consider these riddles. The Sphinx said, and tell me the riddle that I did not reveal. The Sphinx smiled, the gears in her jaw creaking, her teeth a nightmare of rust. Her left eye flickered, but none of its terror was diminished. The ruins were silent in the error. I think she, sa she finally said that the riddle you did not reveal is this. Why do these riddles exist in the first place? Why do why do these curious atom automatons, these mute children of Hephaestus, behave as they do, forcing me to devise these intricate solutions? Each is a riddle, but the greater riddle is their purpose. The, th the Sphinx did not answer. Her eye was lifeless now. Athena removed it from its socket, knowing that its power would aid her, yet feeling also a deep sorrow at the passing of this fearful creature. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, like, a lot of the stuff that this game puts down is some, like, really heavily... heavy, um, psychological, um... philosophical and and just in general like what it is to be human questions and that's they're not 
questions that are easily answered, nor are they questions that we can just kind of ignore. And that is shiny. Um, but I also know that getting into that, like, right now without somebody to, like, speak back is not always the best idea. And I like having a dialogue and a discourse when I kind of have those philosophical debates with uh, about life in general. So that's paint. Do we have a brush? Sorry, I know I can kind of... I, I can run two tracks in my head sometimes that I don't always uh, express them. So, um... I don't know. Like, oh, oh, that is that is shiny. And shiny is easy. I was in school when I first read about the Talos principle. I think it disturbed me at the time, it made me hyper aware of my body as a physical object, the material reality of the brain, ideas that made me uncomfortable at first, but I think in the long run help me understand how frail human beings are and how precious it's not a comforting way of thinking about the world but i'd rather face the truth than lie to myself hmm. oh okay so i have no idea what's going on to you the certification is a sham what does a computer know about humanity the tools to overcome this place have been fried to us we only need we need only learn how to use them you'll be needing a special device to solve this one have you tried crossing the laser beams huh huh I don't know I'll come back for the paint later it's shiny and I will decide on something to say later but I got nothing right now Nothing of interest. Alright. Things to do with two boxes. Oh dear. What? Oh. What's a hexahedron? Samurite B13.1.0073. A powerful device fashioned by the designer. One with faith, B10.27.8435. So that's changed. Um, a cube, sheet B69.1.039. The edges are beveled, that makes it a deca decahedron. Always write B7. Point one, point two, nine, four, three. Uh, you forgot the indents with the with the indents. It's a super polyhedron. Real, reals T seven. V nine nine point one point zero one six five. Wow, the numbers are hard today. But the convex hull is a do a decade. Hedron. Top of clothes always right. B7.1.3541. Wrong. Dog. V55.1.0256. Okay. At this point, it probably don't matter. It don't matter none. Alright. I'm going to assume we need the other one. Quit stepping on things. Oh. Rips. 
types B81.8545 Ted B91 Ooh. Ted V 9.1.9010. Uh, Epitaph Child Program uh, V81.8545, codename APs terminated here. Logic uh, failed random memory test. Final memory dump. I try again, again. I cannot understand. I am not enough. Progeny programs error. All right, here we go. It's about to get real, y'all. We I made it. I didn't die, and I need the box. Fuck. Do 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 do. All right, we'll try again. Sorry, there was a little alcove in here that I missed the first time. That has nothing. Of course, it has nothing. But anyway. right direction. Pass in the middle. Boom, boom, boom. The designer is perfect and he designed me for a purpose. I must be fit for that purpose. It follows that my purpose must um, not be to seek and hoard every sigil in his land for so many are beyond the faculties he granted me. One with faith B10.6.0543F. Okay. I do not understand why the designer chose to put so much flaws in the world that it appears almost as if it were damaged, but he must believe that there is a purpose here. I cannot see it. One with faith be 10.3.0047F. Wait, there was a... There is a way to do the thing. Okay. There's a star over there. I just have to figure out how to get there. Did I say I had to start it? Hope it didn't. Uh, the tools to overcome this place have been provided to us. We only need to learn how to use them. Sir Da, that... B99.105.0012. Nope, no, no star in there, but I did see the star. I know it exists. Oh, no? where's the star? I want the star. Alright. But first we go onwards. Uh, friendly crossfire. Okay, so basically. Oh. Please, if anyone could, uh, with any sensible ideas, read this, could really use some advice. A messenger must be awakened first. Really? Y'all, that is pooping. That is just pooping. Uh, 
Oh, wait. I see it. I just have to pick one. This is about to get sparkly. Splody, splody, splody. Boom. Okay, that was, that seemed relatively simple. I think I've discerned some kind of pattern in the sigils. Each color serves a different purpose. Elohim has us gather them all, but perhaps he's overzealous. Sheep V69.1.0381. Woo! Nothing in there. Fine, fine, fine. Ha! I found the star! Okay, now just not to die. That is the goal. To not die. Going over the fence. Alrighty. Okay, so, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh, that's how I do it. Never mind. I got this. I'm not a complete idiot. Alright, so. Alright, so we need to go here. Because I believe. Yep. If I can see it, I can do it. Alright, so in this one, I'm noticing that every time I do a thing, it, it changes the weather. Like, that, that, that I find interesting. 
Um, so, yeah. Just, just thought I'd point out that little observation there. So it looks like I've got two more. Um, and I'll try and just get this level done. Um, you know you mustn't cross thingies. The streams. Okay. Okay, so that means... Okay, so there. Okay, hold on. Do we have a block? Do we have a block? I don't think so. Okay, so... Oh, there's the block. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do, is this one will remain here, and then this one here is gonna end up on top of that block. And it doesn't have to be hard. It could just be this easy. easy. Is there anything else to find around here? Anything fun? No. No no messages of encouragement or foreboding or philosophical, you know, diatribe where they're wondering about the presence of their existence and how it affects their lives. Okay. Alright, so that's like everything here then. Um... And then one more, and then we're out of five. Little buzzer. Um, I think something is very wrong. If you, if you'd seen what I'd seen at the edges of the world, you'd wonder if it wasn't stretching and bursting at the seams at V17.1.0043. Well, yes, I'm sure that's what data glitches look like. Oh, what are you? Oh, you are new. You are new, and I do not like the way you look. Mm-mm. No, no. Run away. Run away from the singing. Woohoo! Alright, so... Why would I need that? Uh, I don't know yet, but we're about to find out. but not quite. No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. So, let's see how... Fine, fine, I'll do it the other way. Fine. figure it out. Hold on. Please tell me that's in the path. Yes. Oy. Yay. Alright. Um. Yeah, I didn't see anything cool or funny, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go. 
going to assume there's nothing good or good or awesome over here and there is not and now if I can escape without getting shocked that'd be great. Alright, nothing. Nothing, nothing. 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 Oh. Did that one. Yep. Whee! Alright. Um. So, I think I've got everything. Um, other than doing the paint thing. Where'd my paint go? Where'd the paint go? Oh, there it is. Good. Um... The certification program is a sham. What does a computer know about humanity? Yay. The more I converse with the terminals, the more I wonder the role they play in this contraption. How you, how do you tell friend from foe when no obvious lines are drawn between the two? Sheep B six nine point one point zero two seven eight. Huh. Good question. Maybe if there's no terminal line, they don't actually exist. Maybe friend and foe don't exist here. Because to let a candle well, in the in to quote one of my favorite books of all time, A Wizard of Mercy. To light a candle is to cast the shadow. Yay. Oh. Right. I have two stars. Oh, and I already have another star, so okay. Oh! Oh! It has a star! What? Uh. Okay, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stars. Gark! Gark! Alright, um, I will go solve the B problem, and, uh, then I will let you find people go. You have proven yourself worthy, child, and this gate shall be forever open to you. Seek now the other worlds I have given you, that you may attain even greater mastery, and bring glory to your kind. That's not but honest. remember, you must not ascend the Great Tower, for it shall bring death and the end of your generations. Uh, right, okay, again with the, you keep telling me not to do crap, and I'm going to go with, how well has that worked in past literature? I mean, you've got an entire library to reference. What the hell? What the hells, man? Like, you know how well this is going to work not going to work well at all. You tell me not to do things, as soon as I feel comfortable enough with my own skills, I'm gonna go and do it because... <laughs> like, really. <laughs> like, there's really good reasons not to do some stuff sometimes. This is not one of those. Oh, you can go everywhere, and this gate is open unto you for all eternity. But not this place. Don't ever do that. No, never. I'll put that there. Oh, fuddle sticks. Yay! Okay, so let's go look at the pretty freaking tower of doom and destruction and 
Why does it look like there's a hurricane at the top of that? Why? Like nothing for miles and miles around it, but there. <laughs> I mean, really. Alright, let's see what we got. Um. Alright, actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave this here. Because I've, I've spent way too long here. Anyway. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to let me know that I'm doing it wrong. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!